Hey YouTube, it's Saxon here with a new video and today we're going to do a quick short little video on a tutorial how to install 30 millimeter sandwall buttons into your Arcade One Up control deck. Today we're going to be working on Big Blue and we have some sandwall buttons here, 30 millimeter. These are my favorite types of buttons to use and we'll show you how to get this in there using nothing but a nail file uh, attached to a nail clipper. We'll show you how to do that real quick. It's the easiest way to get them in there without any drilling or anything like that. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna have to do is take your control panel out of the deck or take your deck out of the uh, cabinet and place it down on a flat surface. We're gonna have to flip this over and unscrew the black back cover. But first what I recommend you do is if you're not gonna take the plexi off, um, take a little bit of tape and tape it down to the side of the deck, similar to how the deck comes in when you first open up your arcade one up from the box. The reason I say that is because you will, or you could potentially crack the plexi when installing the buttons. Unfortunately, I've already did that to my brand new Killer Instinct cabinet. As you can see here, I installed the 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter Sanwa buttons and I accidentally put a small hairline crack on the plexi, which is not very noticeable, but you know, it's there. So again, put some tape on the side so you don't uh, break that. So now that we have this taped down, we are going to flip the control panel over and then remove the black cover from the back. There's three screws on the bottom and three screws on the top. Remove the cover. And if you do get a little bit of resistance, that's just gonna be some glue. Sometimes they glue a little bit of that up there. So don't worry about that. We're gonna have our nail clipper here. We're gonna need this for the buttons. And here is our setup. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the connectors from the buttons. And I highly recommend you do this one at a time because you don't want to uh, take all the wires off and then get confused and forget what buttons go where. If you do that, you're screwed. You're gonna have to plug the buttons back in, turn the machine on and hit every button to see which one goes where. So do not confuse yourself by taking all the wires off and then putting them in after. Just do one button at a time, make your life a lot easier. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold in the tabs here and then push out. However, don't push, if you wanna keep these buttons, you have to be very careful because if you push the tabs in too hard on the insides, you can actually break the button. Me personally, I don't care for these buttons. I'm never gonna use them again. These are very cheap garbage buttons. But if you wanna preserve the buttons, just be very careful when you push them in because again, this is cheap plastic and it will break. Here is our stock button and here is our sand wall button. Obviously they're much different in size. The standard button that comes with the cabinet is much larger or oh, much longer than our Sanwa button. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our nail file attached to the clipper. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna shape these, uh, these down there right underneath the lip of the button. And you don't wanna shave all of it off. You don't wanna shave it completely off. We're just gonna do a light shave um, the reason you don't want to shave it too much is because if you shave the nubs down too far, when you put them in the cabinet, they're going to slide in and out with literally no resistance. There's nothing going to be holding it in. And if you do that, well then, there's really nothing holding your button in place. And it's I, don't, I guess you could fix that some way, but we really don't want to do that. So all we're going to do is just shave a very little bit off of the button, not too much. And if we have to shave it down to fit it in a little bit more, then we can go back and shave a little bit more. But just take your time and do it a little bit at a time. When you're ready to put the button into the control deck, flip it back upright. And the reason I'm putting this back up and not doing it from the bottom is that's how I broke the plexi on the Killer Instinct. I didn't break it, but I cracked it. The way I cracked it was I had it upside down and I went underneath and put the, bottom, the button in from the bottom. This time, we're gonna put it in from the top. We're gonna look for the connector pins, make sure they're aligned either top or bottom. And we're gonna push the button in from the top, not the bottom. All right, there we go, nice and snug. 
And now we can flip back, back over and hook up the wires. Now it doesn't matter which one you put in here, they're both the same. As long as you get them in correctly and securely, you should be fine. So here's the player two side all done. Now let's go ahead and do the player one side. All the buttons are in, everything's looking good. We're gonna stick this back into the cabinet and test the buttons and make sure everything is working. And there you have it guys. That is all you need to install Sanwa buttons 30 millimeter into your arcade one-up stock deck. A simple nail file attached to your nail clippers. That is all I used to get them in there. Didn't need a drill bit, didn't need to do any kind of crazy mods. That is all you need. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Spread love, not hate, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.